Hi everyone, I'm Sam Cracky, one of the application engineers at Entopology. Today I'm going to be going over a workflow that I created to bring in a 3D scan of a patient's body and create a conformal brace um, to that scan. And the way I've set up this workflow is actually really nice. So, you know, you can bring in all different types of scans, whether, you know, it's multiple different arms that we might have. Um, or even a leg. And no matter what the body part is or who the body part <laughs> belongs to, you're going to be able to create this really nice and easy conformal brace. Um, so starting out here, our step one is to import in our 3D scanned mesh file. Um, I brought these in in the forms of STLs. And then our step two is always to convert that STL to an implicit, which is our NTOP native file format. And so we can see now we have our arm here in implicit land. Um, and I've highlighted a variable here so that we can choose which one of these bodies we're going to be applying this workflow to. So in order to create this conformal brace, um, and we're going to fill this with a lattice structure, we need to create the solid material um, that's offset from this body. And so we can take our arm and create an offset. Now, of course, this just offset our entire arm, and really we're just looking maybe to support the wrist region here um, for this person. And so this is where we can bring in some trimming tools in order to trim away this offset and only have it in the designated region that we're looking for. So I can use my wrist plane, my thumb plane here, and um, our hand. And then we're able to trim that offset so that we have only the region we're looking for. Now, when we were performing that offset, that was going in both directions. So we can see that we actually offset internally to this person's arm as well as externally. And so in order to separate this and only grab that outer offset, we're going to first subtract our arm away from this part. And now we have these two regions here. And so we're able to really easily split these two bodies and obtain just that outer layer. And so once we have this solid offset, now this is where we can take it and fill this with a lattice structure. You know, let's use lattices for what they're good for, light weighting while maintaining strength. Um, and so we can take this body infill it with this Voronoi lattice, which looks very organic. Um, and as you can see, we have, we're using a ramp block here in order to vary the density of this lattice so that it's a bit more open towards the center region. And as we get towards the edges, it's becoming a bit more dense. So you have complete control over the different densities um, as well as our beam thickness for this lattice. And of course, once we create that, lattice, we need to add thickness to those beams because it was previously just a graph lattice. And, you know, now you can imagine in some of these areas at towards the edge of the brace here or this cast, um, this might be a little painful or uncomfortable for the patient who's wearing this as there's a couple jagged edges and, you know, we want this to be really smooth so that the patient's not going to get cut at all. And so that's where we can go back to our solid offset um, and we can define our rim thickness here. What that's going to do is create these three rim bodies that we have um, that we can union onto this lattice in order to create a really nice smooth transition. And then finally, we're able to see our final lattice brace here. 
And we can go back and turn our original arm on to see what this would look like. Of course, maybe the question now is how does someone actually get their hand into this? And that's where we would add in a step to, of maybe, you know, cutting this in half so that a patient can kind of drop their arm into it and then we can place the cover on top. Um, and then we can, you know, that can either be almost glued together or we can create some attachment regions there. Uh, but for the most part, we have this workflow complete. And now this is where, you know, let's go in and bring in maybe a completely different model here. How about this leg? So just a couple adjustments that we need to perform. Let's turn on our implicit view. Our first one is moving these planes around. And I'm going to turn off my auto run function for a moment, just so that the entire do workflow doesn't update immediately as I'm changing the parameters of this plane. Uh, but here we're going to have this plane face in the negative y direction. And let's bring this towards the top of the calf here. And let's update this plane as well, which will go in the negative Z direction. And let's bring this down towards the toes. And we're only going to need two um, trimming tools for this workflow because uh, we have a leg here and not a hand with a thumb. So let's um, take out our hand from this trimming tool. Let's drop in our leg body and let's let this run. Now we can see here that our workflow has rerun given our new shape of our leg. Um, and again, you know, we have a lot of control over this brace structure, so we can make this offset larger if we need to have a bit more um, reinforcement there, make sure that this um, part is strong. You know, right now, I believe we just have an offset of two millimeters, so we could easily bump that number up and make this a bit thicker. Um, we can also control this rim size really easily, so maybe we'd like this to be larger. Let's add in 30 millimeters. And we can see by just updating this one uh, single variable parameter that we've pulled out of our workflow, this workflow is going to automatically update. So, you know, I think this workflow can save the technicians who are usually creating these types of brace and casts a lot of time, um, you know, eliminating a lot of that manual design work. They have this kind of base template now that they can run through and, you know, you're just changing a couple parameters um, per individual's scan that you're bringing in and it's going to automatically update. And I also think this can really, you know, improve a patient's quality of life as someone growing up playing a lot of sports and broke a lot of bones, having a thick plaster cast in the middle of summer is not fun because it's heavy and it's hot and, you know, you can bring in this lattice cast and you're able to go in the shower with it and um, it's much lighter weight. So I think this can not only improve the actual technician who's modeling this, but improve the patient's quality of life as well. Um, and that's, you know, one of the main advantages of additive is being able to so easily manufacture all of these customized, personalized medical supplies or, you know, whatever type of industry that you're in. Um, and I think that creating cast and brace is one of the great examples. Um, so please feel free to reach out if you have any questions about this workflow. Um, reach out to me at samcracky at entopology.com um, or go to our website if you want a demo or a trial of the software, um, you can reach out to sales at as well. Thank you all.